Right, here we go. This is part three of Sheila's visit to Rutherfield in 2010 during her family tree trail. Towards the end, the pictures show mainly um, Buckstead, Buckstead Park, where I found a couple of reed graves there. Buckstead is mentioned quite a lot, and that's where um, Frederick Moon Reed was supposed to have come from and was born. Um, so I had to visit there. Well, that's towards the end of this. And anyway, over we go to a bit of this side of the tape. Then I've got to turn it over for another side. And I got a feeling I go on to a place called Maysfield after that, where there's also mention of family connected to Ollie and my children on their father's side. So off we go. That's just me with the tape recorder still rustling in my pocket. I'm talking without any pocket. I'm going down the bottom of the graveyard. I don't know if any of that came out. I had the bloody thing in my pocket. We'll be going on this side in a minute. Right down here, there's a... a little tiny memorial garden that it could be from one of these big houses. It's got coat of arms on the door, LH 1912 uh, H, what could that be? Hill, hill let's find out Hog Hog or Hoog Sir Lindsay Lindsay I think it's Hoog or Hog Bart of Rutherfield. Died 1923. Born 1852. Also his wife Alice Margaret Emma. There's three in a row here. That's visible. Again with the name Lindsay. Hog. I think it's Hog. A reference for who's else sharing this graveyard with the ancestors of Ollie and my children. Lindsay's a popular name anyway. That's Vera in there. I'll be wife of somebody. I'll take a picture of it because of the unusual. I'm used to talking when I'm using the video camera. And uh, now I'm using the video camera to take pictures and then using the cassette to talk. Right. I get confused. See, when I turn the video off, I think I've turned this one off. Seventy 
four and Mary Ann Burridge, wife of the above, who died 1910, 76. There's more Burridges as well, Alfred Burridge and his wife Esther. They died, um, she died in 1945, he died in 1913. So there's no row of Burridges, because that name rings a bell. The name Burridge. It's funny, there's some wounds. It's just, um, there aren't any, are they? There are any, are they? Busy members of the community and all that. And big gravestones. But I haven't seen them. There's bound to be a modern graveyard as well, isn't there? Uh, there's a few in there, I suppose. Other oh, graveyards. Some bridge wells, there might be some there. Frost. We're back to square one now. I've done these. Yeah. I've done well. Amos Wickens, yeah, back to him. Yeah, no moon. Just one. Only one there. There was a food bus. A couple of them. video when I put pictures with this tape. Just to point out that I am going to try and do a video in a minute. I don't know how powerful the camera's going to be. It might cut out. It must be very low on battery now. I'm going to try 
wait a minute, my rep now all duds. So I managed to charge the battery up a bit when I was in the church, but not long enough. I think he would have spotted that I had it plugged in. tape a minute everybody side B coming up here we go oh. I've got to St Dunstan's I've had a look inside but I've um, mainly taken photos right I've now arrived at a place called uh, Maysfield um, I've just got to remind everyone that when I'm putting this together with the audio cassettes um, there is a repeat of photos at the moment. I've got an awful lot of films that have got to be developed. So this is um, just edition one. There will be um, some changes in photographs and things like that as, as time comes. So over and out at St Dunstan's at Maysfield, Sussex, 2010. I wasn't really talking when I was in there. Um, you know, it's a historic place. It's usual things in there. So I'm now out in the graveyard having a look round for names and I've come across some Martins and then very faint, there's lots of colour plucker, it must be a very healthy place. There's a John Buff who died in it looks eighteen thirty two, January the thirtieth and aged Looks like 66 years. So I don't know if it is a relation at all. Indeed. It goes down for miles. It's only a little village. 
there's hundreds of people here. And I've got a bad foot. I think I've got... Something bit me this morning. I've got a thorn in it, my toe. And ever since then, I've had trouble. Well, I'm just going up again. Right, now this certainly is a large graveyard. Now this isn't, normally I've got video when I'm talking, but I've got to go back to the old ways for this trip. Now the church has got scaffolding all up one side of it, so it's having repair work done. There's a whole load of graves. They've got lots of colour placards, so it must be a healthy place. And, um... So far, I haven't found anything. It doesn't matter. No, sorry, I don't think there are that many here. It might have even been another name. That I have to look for. Might not have been, um... Moon at all. Uh, I do what we can, I do, I, I am pretty sorry, but, uh, I've got this ability to get to the water, but of course I can't today, Ooh, I'm speeding up, I think, I might have a broken toe, or whatever, stuck in my toes this morning has caused it to give me the other type of paracetamol I should have had a paracetamol really I could have taken one in the car numb the pain it's just like with your big toe you, you don't realise so it, it, it's painful right? You can, you know. right this will carry on <laughs> Maysfield will carry on on a separate um recording I think. So the, the, the photos ending here are of uh, Buxted and Reed Graves, the very last